Hi everyone, my name is Isabella Sisilawati. I'm an excellent 5 year enthusiast with decades of business experience. I want to show you how you can compare duration in hours, minute, and second using bar chart. Now, if you recall, I have made a video previously where I have shown you how to convert duration in seconds into duration expressed in hours, minute, and second, so you can display that in a table like this. But today, we'll convert that data into a bar chart. Let's have a quick look at our data model. We only have one table with two fields call type and call duration and three measures. One is formatted in second and the other two are formatted as time, minutes and seconds, as well as hours, minute and second. Now, let me show you how we can create this bar chart from scratch. Click the stack column chart and then click call type drag it into x-axis click durations hours minute and second and drag into y-axis and look at that it doesn't want to be dragged why is that because this measures is formatted in time and for stack bar chart to work it needs to be formatted in numbers so try durations in second instead and look at that it's working nicely okay let's now Turn on the data label, click data label on, but 3.6K, that's in second, that's less meaningful. So we want to customize the data label so that it can show the hours and second. And what we can do is custom label, turn it on, and then click and drag our duration in hours, minute, and second in that field there. And look at that. Now it's nicely formatted into hours, minute, and second. Now, all we need to do is get it off the x-axis and y-axis labels. How do we do that? Just scroll up and then turn it off and then go to y-axis and then turn it off. All right, now nice. Next, let's make the color pink. So go back to columns, change the color to pink, and then let's update our title. Go to general title. And then add a divider, color it pink, and center that. All done. The other thing that I like to do is go to general and add a subtle border. I'm going to turn on shadow, and then the default is black color. I'm going to just change it into gray so that there is that subtle, nice border. And look at that, so much nicer. I hope you enjoyed this video. See you next time.